After years of struggling, the city of Dunkirk is now looking to try and redevelop itself into a destination. The city is now trying some new things to bring in more people and more money. And this weekend, it's hoping to make a big splash with a national boat racing event. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley. If you've never heard it before or seen it, uh, you're in for excitement, that's for sure. All day long, people came to Dunkirk's waterfront to watch the arrival of these million dollar boats from across the country. They're here for the Great Lakes Offshore Grand Prix on Sunday. I think they're fantastic. Oh, I think it's wonderful. It's great for the city. Excited. Everyone is excited. This is the third year in a row that Dunkirk has hosted a big summertime event at its waterfront. Tens of thousands of people came the last two years for an air show, and it is hoped the power boats will draw the same. Uh, when I came into office, one of the things I wanted to do was to showcase our waterfront more. We've been working since September of last year to uh, secure all the permits. This boat race is bringing us national attention. Um, it's going to be televised nationally. Buffalo's waterfront success is an inspiration, and thanks to corporate sponsors, the cost of Dunkirk is minimal. All the hotels around here are booked. A full weekend of activities are scheduled with a powerboat parade tonight, numerous outdoor bands, the arrival of a world champion sand sculptor, and a halftime air show act during the race. This event is bigger than just the city of Dunkirk. You're getting people who are staying in Jamestown. I think it's probably one of the best things that have ever happened, Dunkirk. Ashling Heenan has run a waterfront cafe for 10 years. She and other business people believe the big events are helping make Dunkirk a destination for travelers. I think it's already started. I think probably in another three to four years, it'll be unrecognizable. If the races do well, there is an option to bring them back as part of a master plan to spur development, tourism, and generate a positive economic impact. The powerboat races are free for the public, and to help you out with parking, there will be shuttle service from SUNY Fredonia and the Chautauqua County Fairgrounds. In Dunkirk, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.